the law of one unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 48. I am RAW. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Questioner. Could you tell me of the instrument's condition and if she is improving with time? I am raw. This instrument's vital energies are improving with time, as you measure it. This instrument's physical energies are less than your previous asking. Questioner, I have a question from the instrument that I will read. You have suggested several times that sexual energy transfers aid the instrument's vital energy in this contact. It seems that this is not true for all people that the sexual circuitry and the spiritual circuitry are not the same. Is this instrument an anomaly, or is the positive effect of sexual activity on spiritual energy normal for all third density beings? I am raw. This instrument, though not anomalous, is somewhat less distorted towards the separation of mind, body, and spirit than many of your third density entities. The energies of sexual transfer would if run through the undeveloped spiritual electrical or magnetic complex which you call circuitry, effectually blow out that particular circuit. Contrarily, the full spiritual energies run through bodily complex circuitry will also adversely affect the undeveloped circuit of the bodily complex. Some there are, such as this instrument, who have not in the particular incarnation chosen at any time to express sexual energy through the bodily circuitry. Thus from the beginning of such an entity's experience the body and spirit express together in any sexual action. Therefore, to transfer sexual energy for this instrument is to transfer spiritually as well as physically. This instrument's magnetic field, if scrutinized by one sensitive, will show these unusual configurations. This is not unique to one entity but is common to a reasonable number of entities who, having lost the desire for orange and green ray sexual experiences, have strengthened the combined circuitry of spirit, mind, and body to express the totality of beingness in each action. It is for this reason also that the social intercourse and companionship is very beneficial to this instrument, it being sensitive to the more subtle energy transfers. Ra said green ray, but presumably they meant yellow ray. Questioner, thank you. If you, raw, as an individualized entity were incarnate on earth now with full awareness and memory of what you know now, what would be your objective at this time on earth as far as activities are concerned? I am raw. The query suggests that which has been learned to be impractical. However, were we to again be naive enough to think that our physical presence was any more effective than that love light we send your peoples and the treasure of this contact? We would do as we did do. We would be, and we would offer ourselves as a teach learners. Questioner, knowing what you know now about our planetary condition and methods of communication, etc. If you, yourself as an individual had gone through the process of incarnation here as a wanderer and now have memory of a sufficient way to have the objective that you just stated, what mechanisms would you seek out for the process of teach learning in our present state of communication? I am raw, my brother. We perceive you have made certain unspoken connections. We acknowledge these and for this reason cannot infringe upon your confusion. Questioner, I was afraid of that. My lecture yesterday was attended by only a few. If this had occurred during a UFO flap, as we call them, many more would have attended. But since Orion entities cause the flaps, primarily, what is Orion's reward, shall I say, for visibility in that they actually create greater chances and opportunities for dissemination of information such as mine at this time. I am raw. This assumption is incorrect. The flaps cause many fears among your peoples, many speakings, understandings concerning plots, cover-ups, mutilations, killings, and other negative impressions. Even those supposedly positive reports which gain public awareness speak of doom. You may understand yourself as one who will be in the minority due to the understandings which you wish to share, if we may use that misnomer. We perceive there is a further point we may posit at this time. The audience brought about by Orion-type publicity is not seeded by seniority of vibration to a great extent. The audience is receiving teach learnings without stimulus from publicity will be more greatly oriented towards illumination. Nation. Therefore, forget you the counting. Questioner, thank you. That cleared it up very well. A very important point. Can you tell me how positive and negative polarizations in fourth and fifth density are used to cause work in consciousness? I am raw. There is very little work in consciousness in fourth and in fifth densities compared to the work done in third density. The work that is accomplished in positive fourth is that work whereby the positive social memory complex, having, through slow stages, harmoniously integrated itself,
goes forth to aid those of less positive orientation which seek their aid. Thus their service is their work and through this dynamic between the societal self and the other self which is the object of love, greater and greater intensities of understanding or compassion are attained. This intensity continues until the appropriate intensity of the light may be welcomed. This is fourth density harvest. Within fourth density positive there are minor amounts of catalyst of a spiritual and mental complex distortion. This occurs during the process of harmonizing to the extent of forming the social memory complex. This causes some small catalyst and work to occur. But the great work of fourth density lies in the contact betwixt the societal self and less polarized other self. In fourth density negative much work is accomplished during the fighting for position which precedes the period of the social memory complex. There are opportunities to polarize negatively by control of other selves. During the social memory complex period of fourth density negative the situation is the same. The work takes place through the societal reaching out to less polarized other self in order to aid in negative polarization. In fifth density positive and negative the concept of work done through a potential difference is not particularly helpful as fifth density entities are, again, intensifying rather than potentiating. In positive, the fifth density complex uses sixth density teach learners to study the more illuminated understandings of unity thus becoming more and more wise. Fifth density positive social memory complexes often will choose to divide their service to others in two ways. First, the beaming of light to creation. Second, the sending of groups to be of aid as instruments of light such as those whom you're familiar with through channels. In fifth density negative, service to self has become extremely intense and the self has shrunk or compacted so that the dialogues with the teach learners are used exclusively in order to intensify wisdom. There are very, very few fifth density negative wanderers for they fear the forgetting. There are very, very few fifth density Orion members for they do not any longer perceive any virtue in other selves. Questioner, thank you. I would like to take as an example an entity, at birth, who is roughly high on the seniority list for positive polarization and possible harvestability at the end of this cycle and follow a full cycle of his experience starting before his incarnation which body is activated, process of becoming incarnate, the activation of the third density physical body, process as the body moves through this density and is acted upon by catalyst, and then the process of death, and the activation of the various bodies so that we make a full circuit from a point prior to incarnation, back around through incarnation and death and back to that position you might say in one cycle of incarnation in this density. Could you do that for me? I am raw. Your query is most distorted for it assumes that creations are alike. Each mind-body-spirit complex has its own patterns of activation and its own rhythms of awakening. The important thing for harvest is the harmonious balance between the various energy centers of the mind-body-spirit complex. This is to be noted as of relative import. We grasp the thrust of your query and will make a most general answer stressing the unimportance of such arbitrary generalizations. The entity, before incarnation, dwells in the appropriate, shall we say, place in time-space. The true color type of this location will be dependent upon the entity's needs. Those entities, for instance which, being wanderers, have the green, blue, or indigo true color core of mind-body-spirit complex will have rested therein. Entrance into incarnation requires the investment or activation of the indigo ray or etheric body for this is the form maker. The young or small physical mind-body-spirit complex has the seven energy centers potentiated before the birthing process. There are also analogues in time-space of these energy centers corresponding to the seven energy centers in each of the seven true color densities. Thus in the microcosm exists all the experience that is prepared. It is as though the infant contains the universe. The patterns of activation of an entity of high seniority will undoubtedly move with some rapidity to the green ray level which is the springboard to primary blue. There is always some difficulty in penetrating blue primary energy for it requires that which your people have in great paucity. That is, honesty. Blue ray is the ray of free communication with self and with other self. Having accepted that in harvestable or nearly harvestable entity will be working from this green ray springboard one may then posit that the experiences in the remainder of the incarnation will be focused upon activation of the primary blue ray of freely given communication, of indigo ray, that of freely shared intelligent energy, and if possible, moving through this gateway the penetration of violet ray intelligent infinity. This may be seen to be manifested by a sense of the consecrate or hallowed nature of everyday creations and activities upon the bodily complex death. 
as you call this transition, the entity will immediately, upon realization of its state, return to the indigo form maker body and rest therein until the proper future placement is made. Here we have the anomaly of harvest. In harvest the entity will then transfer its indigo body into violet ray manifestation as seen in true color yellow. This is for the purpose of gauging the harvestability of the entity. After this anomalous activity has been carefully completed, the entity will move into indigo body again and be placed in the correct true color locus in space time and time space at which time the healings and learned teachings necessary shall be completed and further incarnation needs determined. Questioner, who shall we say supervises the determination of further incarnation needs and sets up the seniority list? Shall I say, for incarnation? I am rule. This is a query with two answers. Firstly, there are those directly under the guardians who are responsible for the incarnation patterns of those incarnating automatically, that is, without conscious self-awareness of the process of spiritual evolution. You may call these beings angelic if you can prefer. They are, shall we say, local or of your planetary sphere. The seniority of vibration is to be likened unto placing various grades of liquids in the same glass. Some will rise to the top. Others will sink to the bottom. Layers and layers of entities will ensue. As harvest draws near, those filled with the most light and love will naturally, and without supervision, be in line, shall we say, for the experience of incarnation. When the entity becomes aware in its mind-body-spirit complex totality of the mechanism for spiritual evolution it, itself, will arrange and place those lessons and entities necessary for maximum growth and expression of polarity in the incarnative experience before the forgetting process occurs. The only disadvantage of this total free will of those senior entities choosing the manner of incarnation experiences is that some entities attempt to learn so much during one incarnative experience that the intensity of catalyst disarranges the polarized entity and the experience thus is not maximally useful as intended. Questioner, an analogy to that would be a student entity in college and signing up for more courses than he could possibly assimilate in the time. Is this correct? I am wrong. This is correct. Questioner, could you tell me how the various bodies, red through violet, are linked to the energy center? Centers, red through violet, are they linked in some way? I am wrong. This shall be the last full query of this working. As we have noted, each of the true color densities has the seven energy centers and each entity contains all this in potentiation. The activation, while in yellow ray, a violet ray intelligent infinity is a passport to the next octave of experience. There are adepts who have penetrated many, many of the energy centers in several of the true colors. This must be done with utmost care while in the physical body for as we noted when speaking of the dangers of linking red-orange-yellow circuitry with true color blue circuitry the potential for disarrangement of the mind-body-spirit complex is great. However, the entity who penetrates intelligent infinity is basically capable of walking the universe with unfettered tread. Is there any brief query before we leave this instrument? Questioner, just if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve the contact? I am wrong. All is well. As we have said, this instrument is weak physically and continued work times will lengthen this weakness. The continued contact also aids in the continued climb in vital energy of the instrument as well as the integration and vital energy of the group as a unit. The choice is yours. We are pleased. All is well. You are conscientious. Continue so. I am raw. I leave you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth. Then, my friends, Rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator, Adonai, and of session 48.